Hey folks, it's Dave back in Studio C, taking a look at more Apple Hockey, and today I'm going to look at the dreaded ODAI. ODAI. So what the heck is ODAI? Well, as you can see right there, it is the Opponent Defensive Adjustment Index. Probably the worst thing you could call it, but that's what it's called in the game. So we're going to talk about what is it and, and how does it come to play in the Apple Hockey game. Uh, in, in full disclosure, it was the ODAI that uh, prevented me from getting this game. Is I was just intimidated by it. I didn't know what it was. I didn't want to have to deal with it every time I rolled the dice. And that's kind of how I thought it was. But uh, when I finally uh, dove into the game and broke it down, you don't have to do it on every roll. And I'll show you how this happens here. All right, so first things first, let's take a look at the seals and get their ODI rating for line one. So what I do is I will get the uh, the ODI rating for the each line as they come out, and then once you get it done, it's done. You don't got to do it again. So I got to look at Marshall over here. Okay, he's a left D. He's a three. I add it to Vadney's right D, a four. That's a seven. Ferguson on the right wing is a two. Hampson is a two at center. And then Eamon over here is a three on left wing. And I'm looking at these numbers here under the position. That's what I'm looking at. So uh, if Eamon was on the right wing, he'd be a three, just like he is over here. Uh, Hampson can play different positions, but he's not as good at left wing as he is at center. So, um, so that's where you find the numbers to add. And then you come over here to the chart. So they got a total of 14. So over here on the chart, you can see 13 to 16 is a zero on for check two, I should add. So I come over here. Now, I know this is California. It's actually Oakland. Uh, but you can see under line one for uh, for Oakland, I put a zero. So there's no adjustment uh, on line one on a four check two. Let's do Boston now. So let's look at Kenny Hodge. He's the right wing. So we have a four. Esposito's a three. And at left wing, Busick's a two. On left D, or is a five. And on right D, Dallas Smith is a 4, and that gives us 18. So you look at the chart over here, and 18, 17 and 19 is a plus 1. So we go over to Boston, and we put a positive 1. And you can see that uh, there's different 4 checks here, and there's different ratings. So again, the higher the number, the better it is for the defense. And it goes from minus 4 to plus 4, as you can see on the chart. Uh, I don't think I've got it above a 2. Or maybe maybe I've gone to a three if I've uh, gone to a different four check besides two late in the game, uh, but for the most part it's going to be a zero one or two number adjustment. So how does that come into play? Well, if you come over here and look at the chart, when you get a number from your player, you can see. Let me just switch hands here. The ODAI comes into play on numbers one to seven, and then again from ten to twenty. It skips eight and nine. So if you were to roll, let's just say Eamon over here, okay, look at his card. He rolled a 42. That's a 6. So I go up here, and I look at the chart under 4-check four four check 2. A 6 is a shot on goal with a, with a block of plus 1. So I'd check the defense to see if it was blocked, and I would add 1 to their block rating. However, since I'm adding 1 because Boston's rating was 1, I go up to 7. So it now becomes a shot on goal with a block plus two. So it's harder to get the shot on net. So that's where the better defense comes into play in this. Now, as you've noticed here, um, eight and nine uh, are not included. You can't go higher than seven. So let's just say Boston had a ODAI of positive two, and we got that roll of six here on the chart. You would not go to eight. You would stop at seven. Okay, so no matter what happens, if you roll 1 to 7 and you, the ODI adjustment will stop at 7 every time. It's not clear in the rule book if it does the same with 10 to 20. I play it that way, so I can't go higher than 20. So if I would roll a 19 and add 2, I would stick at 20. It's not a heck of a lot of difference here because, again, it's just going to be between the right D and the left D, so it's not that critical. But at the top, it is critical because, as you can see, uh, let's just say over here now that I had um, a a uh, 35 is a 5 on Ferguson. So he rolls a 35, we get a 5. So that goes from a, 
a soga, so that's a, a shot on goal if we check the assist rating, it goes from a 5 to a 6, so now it's a shot on goal with a block plus 1. So it, so it took away um, a shot on goal, automatic shot on goal if you got the assist rating, to a shot on goal with a tougher chance because it's got a block. All right. Now if we get on a little bit further here, let's just say the result was a 14. So now you got to pass our SOG, so you'd roll again to see if the guy got an automatic shot. Okay, well, if you bump it up from 14 to 16, you lose it to the, um, it's intercepted by the, the left, uh, the, the wing, the left wing. So you go from a pass impossible shot to losing it to the other team. So that's how the ODAI works, is that if you add to it, you're, you're taking away from shots and you're taking away from passes. Conversely, if you go backwards, let's just say it was a minus two, all right? So let's just say you rolled a 15 and you minus two. Now you go from just a pass to a 13. That's a pass with an RSOG. And the same up here. If you roll the seven, that's a seven with a block of two, you would go now to the SOGA. Or if you roll the five and you subtracted one, you go to a four. In fact, let me show you that here. See if I can find a five on my chart. Okay, yeah, so Ferguson here. All right, so Ferguson, if he rolls a 35, he gets a 5. If they were playing a team that subtracted 1, okay, they were playing a really bad team, and the, and the, the ODAI was minus 1, that means it's a bad defense, that 5, which is a SOGA, now becomes an automatic shot on goal by going to 4, if you follow that. So the, the chart does... Uh, most of the time it will take away a good scoring chance and create a tougher scoring chance or like I say down here it'll take away a pass and maybe go to an interception. Uh, now ID Jester made this chart here in Excel and you can see here that he's color coded in red and this is what I use when I play the game so uh, I know that 8 and 9 are off the chart we don't have any ODAI at all on that it's only on 1 to 7, and then again from 10 to 20. So that's the chart that I use. That's the color-coded chart uh, that he sent me from Excel that I use. Uh, also, the other good thing is uh, the ODAI is not used on power plays. It's only used in regular gameplay. So when you go to the power play, uh, or if you even go to the, uh, the offense and defensive zone face-offs, there's no ODAI right out of the gate. So you don't use it on every roll. It's only like during, quote, normal gameplay where there's no power play and there's no offense or defensive face-off um, chart if that's what you're using there. And again, um, i go up here to show you one last time. It's not as daunting as I made it out to be. I thought I'd be trying to factor this on every play, but I don't. So depending, again, depending on the roll you get on the cards, you might not even roll that. You might roll down here on, you know, uh, somewhere between 25 and 35, and there's no ODAI at all. So ODAI is not checked on every roll. It's only checked on a roll from 1 to 7 and from 10 to 20. And again, only if you're in 4 check, 1, 2, or 3. Only no uh, offensive zone draws and no power play. So, And again, what I like to do is I like to get it on my sheet here so for quick reference. And then that way there, I don't have to keep adding it up every time. So anyway, uh, I'm Dave. And that is a look at the dreaded O-D-A-I in Apple Hockey.